courage i totally agree i think it's something that you do build over time and it's something that you do have to take risks we took risks with the podcast that people have laughed and tony robbins talks about you know when you take do something new people start laughing at you but then they'll accept it and then as soon as it succeeds they'll say they'll pat you on the pat you on the back so there's three elements to this one they'll laugh at you when you start to launch it two as i say there's there's an element of acceptance oh they're doing it and then three once you start to crush it once it starts to take off then people start to congratulate oh i knew it would work but it's no guarantee even now there's no guarantee that this will work so it's really important that when you believe something you take that leap and again Simon's good talks about it all the time luck is a skill but he talks about luck being a skill because you take risks so that's where courage is needed to take that first step and it's always the first step which is the hardest step where you put yourself on the line you put everything on the line and you go okay well what's the worst that can happen well people don't listen well that's fine people don't watch the videos that's fine well, at least one person does, then that's a, that's a win, right? And we did set our, we did set that as the that bar. That was the goal, right? wasn't it? Just one person. Yeah, and we've had multiple downloads, loads of views, things have taken off. You um, getting recognised by a stranger in public. Yeah, yeah, and so courage is needed. And as you said, if you could give it to your younger self, it would be great. And I think that's why coaching is so powerful. I was even having a session today where I was doing an action learning set with leaders. And you would not believe, you know, the things that hold people back still, things like perfectionism, you know, things like that, and having the courage to step, to acknowledge your own things that hold you back and then step through them. That's what coaching does. It, it helps you develop a plan to step through in that, through through the, through the fear into the courage, right? So Susan Jeffers, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, is a great book. So that, speaks to this particular C as well you know feel the fear and do it anyway that's what's important because you're always going to have an element of fear there's still, there are things that are going to go wrong but if you are committed to it then you've got the best chance there's no guarantee of success of course there's not but if you persist long enough you've got a greater chance of it succeeding so um not simon scoop but simon sinek talks about if you want to build something it will take time. There's a lot of pushing that goes on. But once it gets to some sort of swing point, I don't know what to call it, swing point or something, it will start to create its own momentum. And that's what we're aiming for. We keep pushing, we keep pushing, and we want more people, people to listen to get impacted by this so we can continue. But we are courageous. We are doing this, irrespective of what happens. Even if Lee's coming back from his wedding, honeymoon, <laughs> and saying, I'm jet lagged, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. And again, you know, Lee could just easily have said, oh, do you know what? I'm just too tired. I'm not going to do this and to blow it off. But no, he's going to step in there and step through that uncomfortableness and tiredness and doing it. And that's what it takes. If you want something to be great, you have to be able to push through those fears and struggles because that's what creates you. That create that creates you. That provides character. If you can push through your, if you can acknowledge what those excuses are and know that they are holding you back but you acknowledge them and you push through them one you're going to start defeating your excuses and two is going to build character and you'll be the type of person you're putting a vote and james kittle best you're putting a vote in the box vote in the box for the person you want to become and that's what it's all about this is what this podcast is all about being inspired and taking inspired action that's what we're doing we're sharing our experience with you and we, we've been quite crazy ourselves to share it because some of the stuff is great right some of the stuff we've done is terrible um, in terms of we just not won or succeeded and um, I remember Lee you saying about I remember you saying about a story about when you ran a hotel and you did this services thing I think it was and you just you, you just didn't pursue it had you pursued it you think it would have worked well yes. you already had some leads and there was that I don't know how old you were but I think you're pretty young you must have been early 20s oh I think I was probably I think I was even like 19 maybe 19 that that's what i'm talking about so that's that courage thing isn't it sorry Lee, you're, gonna, you're gonna say something was you're gonna add to that no 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 that's i was just concerned the age but it was very very young yeah and that potentially could have been amazing couldn't it and but you, you didn't step on it because of the whole thing about the courage the fear of what people think to do, do, do all the risks and stuff so what i would encourage you it's not to take so what this is all about it's not about taking silly risks it's like you know it's about taking a risk but minimizing all the downsides you can that's what great people do 
they take a risk and they know there's risk, but they try and minimize all the downside. You can't control everything, but you can control your control. So that's what we do. That's what you do. You go, okay, what could happen? Okay, what, how can I mitigate that? Right, I can't mitigate everything, but I can mitigate quite a bit of that. Right, let's just go forward and try this. And that's when great companies are born. That's when great people accelerate because they are willing to push past their limitations through courage. And in fact, there was a guy, double amputee, went up Everest, I think, the other week. I think so inspiring. And that's why I love inspiration. This is why it's called Inspiration Nation, because I'm inspired by people who do amazing things. And I want to get a bit of that. I want to have just at least 1% of it, like David Goggins, you know, going through going through a Marine and going through Hell Week three times, and one of them with a broken leg. Like, if someone like that can do something like that, then there's hope for us all to, to, to do the things that we want to do. There was even, I've got a book book called by Jim Collins called Good to Great. And he reminded me, I was reading it, it reminded me the story of Viktor Frankl in a concentration camp and saying how he got through. And there's another one, another another sort of very similar story where that, a similar thing happened that they survived a concentration camp um, by the, the, the sheer fact that they will get through it. They don't know when, but they will get through it. It was all about not saying, oh, I'm going to just survive till Christmas. It was like, no, we just got to persist every day, every day. Just got to keep on it, keep on it. We don't know when we're going to come out, but we just got to keep on it every day and just knowing and having belief that one day this will happen. And I think that for me was really inspiring that if you chase your trolls and dreams down, what is a better life? You know, even if it didn't happen, think about this for a moment. A great life is pursuing the things that you love, right? And you're passionate about because that's the life. It's the now. Yes. It's, oh, we're doing this now because we really enjoy and love it. The results, of course we'd love results, but that's not the thing. The thing is the effort. The thing is the doing it. We should be enjoying it, not for the results, but because we enjoy it. And I think that's where the key is. And the book Good to Great talks about a hedgehog concept. And I will, I'm going to reference that. That's another thing that I want to share with the nation. We're going to add that one to the list, are we? Yeah, I'm going to add it. It's really good. And I tell you, this is how companies go from good to great. Um, and it's a really powerful concept. Anyway. Anyway, I've gone on a bit about courage, but there's a lot of courage at everything, to company, for individuals, for, for young people. This applies to everybody, no matter how old you are, I think we can always have a bit more courage, right? <laughs>